I'm gonna have y'all, y'all oh. make sure uh, my son touches touch that. Make, make sure he touches that one, man. Make sure he passes that. Stand by. Who's this? In your face. In your face. HR, please, HR, please help me out. Me too. Trust you so much. I got to open. Okay, so I didn't know it's on my neck. I don't know why I say number one anymore. Y'all need to support the fingers up. I have, I have a Lakers caps. I can give these away to the kids as well. Yeah, you better give it away. Don't wear that. Um, and then I have a couple of jerseys. Wow. Okay, oh, you guys. The black one. Nice. You guys. Oh. <laughs> what year is this? <laughs> we number one. I get it. We number one. What's the other digit? We number one. <laughs> What's the other digit? Eleven. Eleven C. That's what y'all are. Thank you guys. Josh, thank you so much. I'm no, not gonna... I think there's one more. There's one, one more. more. There. Okay, there's. A... You guys, there's so Eleven much. Josh jersey. Oh my God. No, no, maybe magic, maybe magic. The greatest rookie ever. That will be <laughs> the greatest rookie ever. There you go. Respect. You guys, I'm gonna cry. You understand how much I love magic? Did he tell you? Do you know Josh? Or you just have an we idea? We got a little hint. We had a. <laughs> like, I just had a thug tear, guys. I'm trying to keep it together. <laughs> just one. Just one thug tear. I. Oh, he hasn't watched the glory. <laughs> Denzel, <laughs> uh, thank you so much. Okay, so listen, to that end and all these mm -hmm. all these wonderful things that we have, let's talk about the Lakers lately. We won 8 of okay. 12, right? Mm -hmm. We're on a run, and I know that you've been injured, but let's talk about what you're seeing the team do while you're watching from the bench. Yeah, um, you know, the biggest thing with us, we're controlling the pace, and, and we're, we want to play fast. We want to, um, you know, get up and down, and we, when we do that, you know, it's hard for it to keep up with us because we're so, you know, we're young, we're athletic. Um, so when we turn defense and offense, get in transition and play our game, you know, you now good things happen. Good things seem to happen. And I want you to take a look at the standings. I don't know if we happen to just show oh, those. We got to look at the bottom first. For them. Wow. We start at the bottom for them. So anyway, we're just at, I think in the 10 spot is the who? Uh, the Clippers. Okay, and the 11 spot is the who? Ah, uh, stop looking at the 10. But, okay, uh, so, so <laughs> how long? This is Marcel. Let's go on and say it. By the end of the season, if we don't make it to the playoffs, we beat y'all on record, right? Uh, no. More games you, this, right? This, this, go what, ahead. 13 games to go and y'all six back. I mean, I could do that math simple with a little carry to one. Y'all not going be able to catch him <laughs> this year. But the future is bright for this young core of Lakers, including Josh Hart, who introduced himself to that conversation. Remember in the beginning of the season, it was Brandon Negro, yeah, it right. was Lonzo, right. it was Julius Randle. Yeah. And then they stopped talking. And now they had to add your name to it, man. What does that feel like? Um, it was cool. Uh, I think the first time someone mentioned it to me, and it was an ESPN article. Yeah. Um, I wrote it. And, <laughs> <laughs> right, right. And it, and it was funny because, like, a month or two before, it, was, it said, it was almost the same exact quote, and it was like yep. Young Core, Brandon, Kuz, Zo, and then it had me in there. Then, like two months later, it had me in, and I'm like, you know what? That's kind of cool. Um, we just got to keep pushing. But it was to, to see that it was really cool. Well, you guys have a lot of chemistry. Talk to me mm -hmm. about that. They make fun of each other on Instagram, mm -hmm. on Twitter. Yeah. Uh, do you guys genuinely like each other off the court? No, nah, I hate them. <laughs> <laughs> it comes across. Yeah. Uh, but now, nah, yeah, we uh, we love each other. Um, you know, we're all young too, so we're kind of able to relate to each other. Um, and so when we we know when you have that balance off the court, you know, it really trans you know trans onto onto the court. Um, so we we roast each other. Um, you know, I think they, they kind of beat me a little bit. Not because their <laughs> jokes are funny, because they just got more followers yeah. on Instagram and Twitter. So you can see, you know, look at that one. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off LZ. This is them roasting him when he when he was in. <laughs> he said, you post this like your career is over, dog. You, Hashtag you another on. loss. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, had to take, I, I don't have many followers. I had to take advantage of this. You know, I got, I got like my most likes ever on that photo. Oh, there you so go. I, you know, it worked out for me. There they you were go. just hating a little bit. You have a couple of teammates who are one and dones, and then you and Kuz are, you graduated, and you're like, you're older. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me were there any advantage for you sticking around versus what you're seeing with Brandon Ingram, Zoe, things like that to prepare you for the NBA? Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, I think body-wise is one of the biggest things just because, That's true. you know, I worked at, you know, I was at Villanova, our strength coach, uh, Coach Shaq, you know, was great for me for four years. Yeah, it grew. Yeah, you know, I grown. got a little muscle, you know, a little muscle to me. Um, so, you know, right, right. I'm able to kind of, you know, bang with bigger guys a little bit more than they can, um, you know. When I'm in there, we can, you know, switch, you know, one through five. A lot of times I'm, I'm on big guys in the post and I'm able to kind of hold my own. Um, but that's one of the biggest things, that and then just, you know, being able to just play the, game, the right game of basketball. It's not about, you know, just about scoring. It's not about, you know, one-man team. It's about everybody. Everybody getting a piece of the pie. And when you do that, you know, you win.
Oh, I noticed that, and I I know that you'll be back March 30th. How many games does that give you to play? About maybe yeah, seven or eight. Hopefully. Seven or eight. Do you want to go ahead this moment to try to convince Marcel to jump on the bandwagon prior to uh, arrival? I, I was thinking about it, uh -huh. and I was like, you know what? I'm you know coming on to knowing I was going to go on to the show. I was like, you know what? I might try to convince him, but you know. We'll, we'll wait, you know, and then when we're on the top, you know, we're going to, you know, we'll, we'll, glad, we'll gladly we'll, welcome him well, onto our wagon. We've already started. We've already, already started. We've already started. We're See, trying to get him there. Y'all can't get me on that wagon. Marcellus. Uh, uh, for real? Like, if Showtime 1.0 didn't get me on, you think Showtime 2.0 going to get me? You, Showtime 2.0 can't get you? <laughs> no, 2 no. Get you? Oh, go what if we get you a jersey? You know, we, we get, get you your own. I want one of y'all jerseys. Y'all got a jersey? Hold on, you got a jersey? That's a different conversation. No, we don't have a jersey. You got a jersey. You got a jersey. Take that free night and all. New, new, sir. You got, we gonna have to work for that one. But uh, mm. we, 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 any, maybe in the near future. Let me do my job, which is be a broadcaster. Uh, <laughs> good one at that. Um, <laughs> any anxiety in the room when you think about this summer? LeBron James, Paul George, other big names out there. And when you're part of a young core, I've been there before. When you're young. You're like, yeah, I want to get better, but I want to be here while we get better. Any anxiety in the room? Um, a little bit. Um, you know, we know there's a lot of buzz and all that, uh, you know, going, going through a free agency. But we're just trying to get better. I think that's the biggest thing. We're not trying to look too far ahead, look at, you know, who can come here, who can't come here, and, and all that. Is that the truth? No, yeah. because you got to say it right now. Like, he just to get I mean, better. Nobody, Reynolds no like one's trying to say yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, we all, you know, I think that really started off the court. We all really started clicking off the court, and it just transferred onto the court. And, you know, we have a, a great core of young guys. And, you know, no matter what happened in the free agency or whatever, if we continue to get better, if people come, if people, you know, even if people don't come, you know, and we just get in the gym, keep getting better, you know, we, we got talent and we got, you know, a lot of potential. All right, so we got Lonzo, we have Josh, we have Kyle. Light skin is back, no? Oh, it is. It definitely is. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. Is DJ, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what? Whatever. Let me tell you what. I don't know. It was a bad weekend for life. Josh Hart, thank okay. you so much for stopping by. Lakers thank for you. life, my friend. You. I appreciate you. Um, you guys appreciate him, right? He was great. Yeah, yeah, my dog. Yeah, he your dog. <laughs> my dog now, yeah. Now, I don't know about that DJ Envy light skin, though. That baby's race. I'll set y'all back this weekend. We're going to let that go. Sports Nation back in a moment. If your underwear feels like this.